Hey YouTube, so today's video is going to be on how to reference external assemblies using structure map. So this is a continuation from the previous video. In the previous video, we were able to set up dependency injection using structure map within the same assembly. So what happens if the interface that we need to be injected is from an external assembly? So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new project. And let's just call this external project. And we want to make sure that it's a class library. Because class libraries, when built, always give us an external DLL. So if we build, use a console application, we'll get an exe instead. And for the sake of performance issues, we're going to just always use scanning assemblies instead of scanning the EXCs as well as assemblies. So we have our new project. Now, in order for all the DLLs of the external project to be inside the output directory of dependency inject, we need to add a reference to this external project. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on references and add a reference to external project. And you'll see it here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an interface in this external project similar to the logger class. So what I'm going to do is just copy this. And I'm going to make a new class. I'm just going to call it logwriter.cs. I'm going to paste it in here. And I'm going to take all this outside. I'm going to call this iLogWriter. And this is going to implement iLogWriter. Make this public. And we're going to make a new method name LogWriter output. I'm just making this up as I go. Um, log writer output. I want to just make a message. This is from the external project. Right? So, what we're going to do is so now we have a log writer in the external project, which is similar to the log logger file we had in dependency inject. So what we're going to do is go back to our manager file and we're going to inject it into this constructor. So we're going to have private iLogWriter of LogWriter and we're going to inject it iLogWriter LogWriter and LogWriter is equal to LogWriter. Let's make a method public void external writer we use our log writer dot log writer output some kind of text we're sending this to the output uh, to the external project and we're going to use console.reline so we can see what's happening and we're going to go back to our program.cs and we're going to use our manager instance to call the external writer. Now look what happens when we start the project. It gives us an error saying that no default instance is registered for external project.ilog writer. So why that happens is because in our instance scanner, we have scanned the calling assembly. But in our solution explorer, we have dependency inject is a single assembly, while external project is another assembly. So, 
in order for the calling assembly, which is the dependency inject, to find out about the interfaces and external project, we need to add another scanning convention. So we're going to use assemblies from path. Now you can see also there are assemblies and executables from application based directory. We don't want to scan executables. All we care about are the assemblies. So what we're going to do is call assemblies from path and we're going to use app domain dot base or current directory dot base directory current domain dot base directory and we're going to use c dot c um let's see what we have full name starts with i don't know ex so there's a couple of ways you can implement this so what it's saying is for any assembly that starts with ex my assembly starts with external or why don't i put external so it'll find any assemblies which start with the word external. So it can be, if I can add more project, they would have to be projects, they would have to be external writers or external loggers. As long as they follow the starts with external, it should be fine. Now, there are different ways you can do it. You can use C dot full name and then give each assembly project name explicitly, whatever works for you. I've always been using this and it's been working fine for me. So let's try it out. That's the first one. That's the second one. And here's the third one. We're sending this to the external project. This is from the external project. And there we go. This is how you use structure map in an external assembly.